scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The God who gave the bear, the God who gave the lion, he will also give this uncircumcised Philistine. There is the hand that lifted you. It will uphold you till the end And you will not be afraid This is a prophetic word to you The Lord is your light And He's the light of your life You should not be afraid The hand that guided you will uphold you till the end. You will not be afraid. For the grace that brought you through will uphold you till the end. And you will not be afraid there is a voice that speaks for you it will uphold you till the end you will not be afraid there is a seal that separates you it will uphold you till the end you will not be afraid and you will go from faith to faith from glory to glory i prophesy to you and you will go from faith to faith, from glory to glory. And you'll forever be chasing after Him. You'll be chasing after Him all the days of your life. You'll forever be chasing after Him. You'll be chasing after Him. When it was time for David to face Goliath, Saul was so intimidated by the size of David, he said, I have extra weapons to give you. And David said, no, I was not taught with these weapons. It was not the javelin and all of this. There, there, there was a secret arsenal. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, that which you have been given is enough to make you great. Men will offer you all kinds of options. Anything that was not part of the tool for your training is not qualified to be with you in the day of battle. We want to pray. The race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Many have come and failed woefully. But there is a hand that can take a man and sustain him. 
and Abraham gave Melchizedek a tenth of all and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth the prophet said I have been instructed to bless and this I have done and it cannot be reversed in the name that is above all names may you be distinguished everywhere you go may there be an anointing upon your life that separates you out of the crowd because you have loved righteousness and hated wickedness let god even your god may he anoint you with an oil of gladness that makes you always above your fellows in the name of the lord jesus christ and the bible says uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the lord I pray in the name of Jesus that you will receive the help of God. Where your strength fails, may the anointing upon you speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and none see it restore. I send a prophetic word ahead of you that everything that wants to take you for a prey, let there be a prophecy that says restore. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. I declare that as a result of the blessing of the Lord upon you, you become incorruptible. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? He said, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. I decree and I declare that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will do much for the kingdom. You will do much for the kingdom. Where there is no voice to speak for you, may you hear a voice from heaven that says, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter, and may it command the world to hear you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over your life. The Bible says, See, I have made you a God unto Pharaoh. I pray that every territory you enter, those powers in those territories remain subject to you forever. Because the Bible says, let every soul be subject to higher powers. And I speak over your life in the name that is above all names. Every devil of darkness submits to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says you shall not be afraid of the arrow that fly by day, nor the noisome pestilence, and that which wasted a noonday. He said a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side, but none shall harm you. With your eyes shall you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. I declare that you are preserved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For his name is unto you a strong tower. And you will run and find refuge. In the name of Jesus, I declare, may you suck honey out of the rock. And may your feet be honored and adorned with butter. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Let your hand be strengthened by the Lord Most High. May the Lord amplify your efforts. He told Abraham, lift up your eyes and see. He said, for as far as your eyes can see, I have given it unto you. I declare, although you will go to a foreign land, I speak to the earth of that territory to bring out its good and give to you. He said, I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. Isaiah 48 says that I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit. I command that these hands will profit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just like Daniel through the dispensation of three kings. He was exalted. May you be exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I activate breakthrough in your life. Through the ministry of destiny helpers. Whoever needs to hold your hands to go to the next level. May my God bring them into your life. And the king sent for Joseph. 
and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever needs to send for you i prophesy in the name that is above all names i activate the ministry of the wine pressers and the bakers may they recommend you in high places in the name of the lord jesus christ and the bible says is there any man in the house of saul that i may show him kindness where your qualification cannot take you like mephibosheth may you still sit and dine with kings the bible says gentiles shall come to your light and their kings to the brightness of your rising he said your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles the bible says where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations i declare in the name of the lord jesus you will not backslide you will not lose this that you for the bible says they that be planted in the house of god they will flourish in the courts of our god he said even in old age they will be fat and flourishing you will be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water when others are waiting for rainy season you are planted by a permanent source of supply and the bible says as a result he will yield his fruit in season and his leaf will not wither whatever he doeth prospers in the mighty name of jesus christ let the mark of god be upon you that everyone that sees you will know that god is with you in the name of the lord jesus christ i strengthen your hands may god trust you with wealth may god trust you with grace may god trust you with leadership in the name of jesus christ and we cause death over your life that which terminates the life of people prematurely you are separated from it in the name of the lord jesus christ i bless you let the favor and the grace upon this house go with you any door that has opened for this house may it open for you in the name of jesus when god blesses us here may he bless you wherever you are in the name of the lord jesus christ go and do mighty things for the kingdom in the name of jesus christ congratulations god bless you please koinonia celebrate them go and do great things for the kingdom and let us hear of the exploits you are doing in the name of jesus christ there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every Chain, to break every chain, sing it one more time. Yeah. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Every chain, break 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 Bible says that which I speak to you I declare to you in the secret place he said declare thou upon the mountain top 1st Corinthians 15 from verse 54 1st Corinthians 15 verse 54 everyone look up let's just read so when this corruptible shall have put on him corruption and this mortal shall put up immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory verse 55 can we read it together one to read oh death where is your sting 
Oh grave, where is thy victory? Tonight we are challenging the spirit of death. I will share with you what the Lord revealed to me. We are going to pray. Are you getting my point now? The Bible says the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times and they knew what to do. It is a tragedy for a believer not to be able to read the signs of the world and see what is happening. If we lack the perception, the ability to align with what the Spirit is doing, we can cut short our lives without knowing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. O oh, death, where is your sting? No grave. Where is your victory? Tonight I'm teaching very briefly on victory over the spirit of death. And then we're going to pray. We have quite some prayers to do. I don't, we're not going to stay long. But we're going to pray. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, open my eyes tonight. Open my eyes. Open our eyes, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the responsibilities of a true apostolic ministry is not just to change people, but to be able to bring territories under the obedience of the Lordship of Christ. Are you getting my point now? A true apostolic ministry has a mandate to become a voice, not just to people, but to speak over territories and enforce obedience to the Word of God, to the ways of the Spirit. Let me show you something. Isaiah 42 this is what happens when any territory lacks a true apostolic voice. And I'm not just talking about people who call apostle, this apostle, that. No. I'm talking of certain people that truly have been elected by grace. When a territory lacks true apostolic voices that can be able to speak and command things to comply, 42 verse 22. Let's read 21 and 22. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. Verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of themselves snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. They are taken for a prey. And none delivered them. For a spoil. And there is no voice that proclaims restore. It says these people are captured. They are taken for a prey. And for as long as there is no voice. That can challenge darkness. And say restore. Those people will remain in captivity. Tonight we have come to pray. We have come to speak and say restore. 
says they are taken for a prey and there is none that is able to deliver them. They are taken for a spoil. You know what a spoil is? The proceeds of war. The seal of victory in a war. That every time you spoil a territory, you take the kings and their gold and their treasure, you take it back, you cut the head of the king and hang it and take it as a symbol of your victory. They are called spoils of war. And the Bible says when there are no apostolic voices in territories, when men are kept in prison houses, when they are taken for a prey, there is none that cries deliverance unto them. It says, and when they are taken for a spoil, there is none that says, restore. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Listen, before we talk about death, let me challenge you a, a little. Hold on. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. The word of God can be trusted. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you do not believe the word of God, you are absolutely disadvantaged in this system. Many of us want to trust the word of God but we keep asking ourselves what is the guarantee that this word will not fail me because we are used to men failing us we are used to systems failing us and as a result of that it becomes difficult especially in the face of all of the things that happen there's death everywhere unrest, insurgency and violence sicknesses and pestilence and all of these things but solomon said there is nothing that is new under the sun meaning it has happened before recession has happened before are you getting my point war and crime and killing and wickedness the reign of evil has happened before everything that happens now has happened before and the Bible says, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. Let me just use a few minutes to help us and strengthen our assurance about the immutability of the word of God. Can we look at that just for a few minutes? You need to trust God's word. This is the sure foundation for faith. Not just faith that has to do with just talking, talking. No, 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 no authentic Bible faith that is able to produce results. Let's look at the scripture. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13. We'll just rush. I'm talking about death, but as I began to prepare for this, God put it in my heart again and again that many people are beginning to have a second thought about the word of God. Especially in light of the fact that certain ills and evil seems to be prevailing unhindered hallelujah and so many people are beginning to ask themselves is the word of god really reliable can it really bail me in death can it bail me under wicked conditions i hear the chains falling first thessalonians 2 verse 13 we have to be very fast. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing. Because when we received what? The word of God which he had of us. We received it not as the word of men. But as it is in truth. The word of God. 
which effectually worketh also in you, not that as you that believe. We received it not although it was taught by a man, it was taught by a minister, but we received it not just as a word of a man, we received it in truth that this is the word of God. Hallelujah. Do you believe that the word of God is able to deliver, to save, to bless? Let's talk about this word of God for a few minutes. Psalm 33 verse 6. I wrote down a few scriptures to just encourage us. Can we really trust in the word of God? Can I stake my life on the word of God? How far can I go with the word of God? Can it stop me from dying? Can it stop me from pestilence and wickedness? By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. And all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. It says the heavens were created. They were framed out of the word of God. The Bible declares in John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3 that everything we see in the universe came from God. John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3. It says in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God. Right? And the Word was God. It said it was with God in the beginning, verse 2. And the same was with God in the beginning, verse 3 now. It says, and how many things? How many things? All things were made by him. That word. And without him was not anything made. That means without it, nothing can be made in your life. Without the word, all things were made by the word of God. Hebrews 11 verse 3. Don't turn there. It says through faith we understand. We were not there but by faith we were told by the Holy Ghost. That the walls were framed by the word of God. The Bible says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which appear. In other words, these material things, the unit of them is the word of God. Not just atoms and molecules. Everything in the universe was framed by the word of God. Hebrews 1 verse 3. One of my most powerful scriptures about the word of God. The Bible says he upholds all things. Hebrews what? Am I right? Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of the person. And upholding all things by what? By the word of his power. Watch this. It's one thing to manufacture this. But it's another thing to keep it standing. The Bible says the word of God did not just bring it into existence. The word of God is the factor that keeps it moving. He upholds everything. Everything. The sun, the moon, balancing the equilibrium of nature is all balanced by the word of his power. So he upholds your life. Not by circumstances that happen, but by the word of his power. The Bible says all things. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Psalm 89 verse 34. Very powerful scripture. Psalm 89 verse 34. Is the word of God reliable? What is the guarantee behind the word of God? Everyone read. Want to read. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. This is God speaking. He said, my covenant, I will not break it. I will not alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Oh, hallelujah. Gives us confidence. Gives us confidence. Gives us confidence. My covenant will I not break. Men can do all of this, but I have, I have entered a covenant with myself. Because there is no man greater than me. So, I entered a covenant with myself. And I will not break it. I will not alter the thing that has gone forth. 
God will not break his word, brothers and sisters. You must be assured of this. It is the guarantee that helps us to trust the word. God cannot lie. Numbers 23 verse 19. Numbers 23 verse 19. Powerful scripture. Very, very, very powerful scripture. Numbers 23. Everyone read. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? He said God is not a man. That means it's okay when men tell lies. It's part of their predicament. But God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should change his mind over what he has spoken concerning your life. Hebrews chapter 6 from verse 16 to 18. The last scripture. I just want to encourage us tonight. Because you see, sometimes many of us really think and we can be tempted to think that believers are just faking these things. It really doesn't work. It's just that people are trying and let's see how far it goes. Hebrews 6 from verse 16. For men verily swear by the greater and an oath of confirmation is to them an end of strife. Next verse. Wherein God willing more abundantly to show unto who? Us. According to Galatians 2.29. 3.29 it says, And if he be Christ, then are ye what? Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So he said, Willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of the promise the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath. Next verse. That by two immutable things, which it was impossible. Do you know what impossible means? Impossible means if by mistake God calls this guy a woman, he must change to a woman because God cannot lie. It's not that he does not. Even if he speaks by mistake. That was why when Balaam, listen, listen. When the prophet was called to go and curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. I have already spoken it. I cannot take it back again. When Esau came and said, Is there no blessing left? Isaac said, It's too late. Something has left me because I was representing God. What is it about? Can you not just say, Okay, son, I bless you. What was he talking about? He said, Everything that is there, I have given it. So where is the blessing? Is it, a, is it just that he died on his son? That another person comes to say, please bless me. He says, it's too late. He was not just talking of, I bless you, I bless you. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Cause he will give up on you. He saved us. Listen, let me tell you something about God. Every time God wants to speak, the first thing he examines is his ability, whether he can do it or not. God will never say anything he cannot do. It's only men that talk can say, I'll build you a house tomorrow in the afternoon. Come and collect the key of the house. That's a man talking. But when God speaks, that was why when the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, he was speaking as an oracle. And the one who the king leaned on said, are you kidding? Because he thought God was a man. And he said, really, you will see it. But you will never eat of it. Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us. If we think God is playing pranks with us, and God is joking, have you read in this Bible that hailstones came from heaven? Have you read from this Bible that lepers, four lepers were running and they had the sound. It was a multiplied effect. Have you heard that people entered fire and it did not destroy them? Question. It's not just yes. Do you believe? Because the Bible says Jesus is the same 
yesterday, today, and forever. I'm about to teach on something very powerful, very briefly, and then we'll pray. But it's going to be a waste if you think God is playing games with you. I know that God is too serious to allow Jesus Christ to die on the cross. Is that a joke? The Bible says, He that did not spare his only son, but offered him freely, shall he not with him give us what? All things, not some things. Say, I believe the word of God. See, this is the, this is the true foundation of faith that lasts. Not this emotionalism that people are doing in the body of Christ. This is the foundation of true faith. Hallelujah. I had a vision in the course of the week. And I saw the map of Africa. And all of a sudden, I saw like a serpent. And it was moving across it. And the Lord told me, I had that, this scripture. They are taken for a prey and none say it restore. Hallelujah. When God shows me things like this, it's because he wants us to act. Hallelujah. And then the Lord began to tell me how that death looms across the continent of Africa and even in the nation of Nigeria. It, uh, listen, 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 listen. There is death. There is the event of death that the Bible calls sleeping. Is that true? We just call it sleeping. That's not what I'm talking about. Because according to scripture, those who sleep, those who die in Christ, Paul said, for me to live is Christ and to die. He was not talking about oppression of the spirit of death. Well, that's why I, did, I didn't write victory over death. Because I want you to understand what I'm sharing. Victory over the spirit of death. Say amen. Immediately I saw this. I said, ah... Is because of something very, very prophetic that God is doing in our nation. I've been announcing this all through different meetings and different conferences. And if this death is not stayed, there will be many casualties. But tonight, my goal is to demystify this thing called death. Because I tell you, when the Lord, in this vision that the Lord was showing me, I could feel fear. Believers have been captured by the spirit of fear. Pastors, leaders, apostles, prophets. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and none see it restored. Hallelujah. Said these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel, against Jerusalem. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, but I have sent carpenters. Hallelujah. Is someone getting what I'm saying now? The spirit of death. He said, Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? The first thing I want you to know about the spirit of death is that it is a spirit. It is a demon spirit. Please, brothers and sisters, don't let anyone confuse you. Look up, please. Look up. Many of us here have lost loved ones. Some of them have actually gone resting. It was their due season. It was their time. But can I tell you something? There are many people whose exit out of this earth realm is as a result of being victims of the claws and the pangs of death. And we must, we must contend and refuse. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is very important. When the Lord showed me this vision, I was very, very touched. And I knew that God wanted us to begin to speak and to open the body of Christ to the revelation that will sustain them in power. And now, I'm not one person who likes talking and announcing miracles and all of that. I like the things to happen and let the people just hear by themselves. But something happened very striking in the course of the week. A lady was in ICU. We hope that when she's done, she will come to testify. Hallelujah. And the lady was under some heavy gadgets and all of that. And then eventually she gave up the ghost. When she died, they were calling me, calling me and said this lady had died. Everything was over. 
he was packed up. And then I told the lady that was talking to me, listen please. I told her, I said, put the phone in the dead lady's ears. Just make contact with her ears. And she put the phone and I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I knock on the door of life and I bring back her spirit to her body. Nothing happened right away. We off the phone. Brothers and sisters, this is verified. It happened in Asokoro just a few days ago. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, from nowhere, this girl sneezed back to life and started, when she sneezed, listen, 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 that's not even the testimony. When she sneezed back to life after some hours, she started shouting my name in the hospital and she was shouting and she asked them to, she said, why did you stop me? This was her testimony, listen. She said, when she was going to the gate, she just found herself in a place, of course, for those of you who have read Divine Revelation books, you know. And she saw several people coming from the earth realm. And it was her time and she was going. Approaching and someone was, it's like people were going to the gates, you know. The pearly gates that the Bible talks about. And while she was there, she could hear from the earth that they are praying. It's like people were praying, different people. And then she said, the moment she was there, the next thing she had a loud shout and it was my voice. I was called, it was like a magnetic force. He was pulling her back and she was saying, no, I don't want to go back. And then the angel, she would enter the gate and the angel said, can you not hear that he's calling you? We cannot allow you come. Listen, this is true. She's going to come here and testify. That can you not hear? And then he told her that it's not your time. Return back. And truly, when she spoke, it was the exact time that I was praying for her. Hallelujah. This girl, listen, that's not even the testimony. She, she came back to life with such a dramatic presence. She was blasting in tongues. When the nurse and the doctors came, the power of God came upon the nurse instantly. Right there. Listen, the doctor was so intimidated, he left. And the nurse was there. The, the lady who was talking with her called and said, I want to give my life to Christ. This lady was speaking uttering mysteries because she came back with an experience. I mean, her bed was vibrating. She was vibrating I sent the text to a few of the leaders. This is how you know that. I, for me, it was a confirmation. The, the goal is not, okay, dead, raised, and all of that. Thank God for all of those things. But for me, it was a confirmation. And then guess what happened? The lady said, one of the doctors came and looked at her. And he said, be careful. And then when she was sleeping in the night, one of the doctors came to her in the spirit to kill her in the hospital. Are you getting my point now? And then she began to pray. And then in the morning, he came and confronted them, oh, her, and said, listen, you have not seen anything yet. The lady that put her ears, huh, that put the phone in the ear of the dead girl, was just going to get brief bridges and return. And a car from their back just smashed that girl. And I heard she died in the afternoon. Can you imagine? Are you seeing that evil is real? For standing to make sure somebody did not die. Our hospitals have now become occultic places. Nina Yesune Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Nasa Haluna, I can take it no more. In my life, death has tried me many times. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So don't you think I'm just talking nonsense? From birth, the devil wanted to take my life. I didn't have the privilege of enjoying breast milk. To start with, let's even start from that one. Praise God. 
I've been diagnosed of all sorts of things and I've seen the hand of God. Are you getting my point? I have met with armed robbers on the way. Car has jammed me once. So don't think I'm just talking rubbish. Death is a spirit. Tonight, we will rest this issue of death once and for all. Rome, Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6. What is this mysterious phenomenon called death that can scare any man, scares the rich, scares the poor? Accidents, infirmities, incurable diseases, acts of wickedness and terrorism, all kinds of things that just brutally exit people out of this earth. Is there a way out? Revelations. Verse 8. Verse 7. Let's start from verse 7. Verse 7. Please read. And when he had opened the fourth seal, these were the, the riders upon the four horse. Are you getting my point? I heard the voice of the first beat and he said what? Come and see. Next verse please. And I looked and I behold and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was what? So this mysterious spirit that has been responsible for the premature exiting of people is not just a phenomenon the Bible tells us that he's a real spirit. He sits upon a horse and he does not walk alone. Hell followed him. I told you hell is a spirit. Are you seeing it there in your Bible? <laughs> hmm. And power was given unto them over a fourth part of the earth. So how does death manifest? It kills with what? Are you seeing now? Sword is the manifestation of that spirit. And he uses a word again. Hunger. It is still the same spirit. And number three. What you now call death. He named the event after himself. And then the fourth part he said. And with the beasts. You know who the beasts are? In the earth. He's not just talking of wild animals. This is the terrorism and all of these things we call. He said, and with the beasts of the earth. They are all the manifestation of how this spirit operates. Are you getting my point now? Remember, Paul was saying he was confronted by beasts and wild animals. Right? He, didn't, he said, although he was not just talking of literal animals. He meant these, those who were opposing the cause of Christ. And so he said, this is how this spirit, he sits upon a horse and sends all of these things as envoys. Hunger. The sword. Manifestations of beasts and everything. But the Bible says he sat upon a pale horse and his name is what? Death. You must understand that death is a spirit. Brothers and sisters, accidents incurable diseases all of these devilish dangerous things as common as they look they are the vehicles through which this spirit operates please get this i know that many of us some of us have buried our loved ones some of us have been victims of all of these things don't worry just listen to the word of the lord are you hearing what i'm saying please understand that nothing just happens in this realm if you can believe this, this is your first deliverance tonight. Nothing. A car does not just jam people, brothers and sisters. At every given point in a man's life, he's been influenced by a spirit. There is nothing like neutral. Please hear me. You are either under the influence of the spirit of God or some influence of demon spirit. Is someone getting what I'm saying? 
When a man says he's an atheist, for instance, that in itself is a manifestation of the spirit of deception. Hallelujah. Everybody shout it, nothing just happens. Say it again, nothing just happens. Jesus was giving us an interesting parable. And he said, while men slept, right? While men slept, he said something happened. An enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and left. So that you lie down to sleep, fine and sound. And then by morning you wake up with a lump. Question, in how many hours did the lump just get up? What sponsored it that it grew more than the normal growth of the body? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now the Ebola virus and all those devilish things manufactured and fabricated from hell. Right? This is not the first time that devilish virus is coming to the earth. It had come during John Lake's time and John Lake stamped it to his feet and it went back and he says, let's try again. After many years, and let's see whether there are still ambassadors. I tell you the truth, there are still ambassadors. John Lake, that was the plague that was killing people. And John Lake said, what, what in the world is this? Let's go to the microscope. And he ended that issue once and for all. The earth is becoming more interesting. Are you getting my point? The earth is becoming more interesting because there is, there is an open confrontation of darkness. The Bible says kingdoms will rise against kingdoms. But it is they that know their God. They shall be strong. Not they that have heard about him. Not they that preach him. They that have paid the price to know their God. They shall be strong and they shall do exploits in the name of the Lord Jesus. So death is a spirit. Very quickly, is there a way out of the grip of this devil and this spirit? That's what tries to come to take many people's life in the night. Many people. Have you wondered, excuse me, have you wondered why people die in the night? Have you wondered why women make loose children in the night? Why not in the day? The mystery of the night. Hallelujah. And I tell you, there is a visitation of the spirit of death over the nation of Nigeria. I know it. I have seen it. It's looming across territories. Mysterious accidents. Mysterious rage and violence. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and there is no voice. We are busy trying to raise money in our churches. We are trying to buy suits. The devil has distracted us, men of God. We are trying to buy new cars. And the devil tells the demons, keep distracting them. While death keeps wiping people. And for as long as it has not touched us, this is the same spirit that manifested in the days of Esther. Esther was enjoying in the palace. She did not know that God took her to the palace so that she will be a voice that will cry restore. She was the apostolic voice in that dispensation. And the Bible says, when Mordecai, who was a watchman, sitting by the gates, he said, I will stand upon my watch. Habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. I will stand upon my watch and I will set myself upon the tower so that I will see what the Lord will say. There are no watchmen again in this country. We have lost the art of sensitivity. We have lost it to food. We have eaten the food of idols and the king's meat. A little sleep, the Bible says, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands and poverty comes upon you like an armed bandit. This is what has happened to the church. We are being stripped and robbed and we are being distracted because of the bounty. I believe in prosperity but not at the expense of that which the Spirit of God is doing. For as long as we are in our various churches and cathedrals and we feel we are secured, 
and there are there are many men of God who do not believe in the Bible. It's just that they have a lot of security. And they don't go around anyhow. Right? But there are so many people who are dying, who have stood face to face, and they applied the messages that we preach, and it didn't work, and they died. And we keep saying, don't worry. Who is deceiving who? There's got to be something authentic. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why will I not talk of faith and courage when there are all kinds of bodyguards following and all kinds of security people and your car is a bulletproof car? Who will not have faith under that circumstance? And your flight is a private one and everything. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. God will judge any man of God and any pastor who does not commit himself to teach believers truth, right? And to stand in the place of intercession and prayer and to shout restore. It's not only about collecting the tithe of God's people and telling them so seeds and do this. And then the moment they keep dying like chickens, the Bible says they are taken for a prey and there is no voice to say restore. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? Death is a spirit. I like everybody to say, death is a spirit. Say it again, death is a spirit. If you know that death is a spirit, you will know that it's not a mysterious phenomenon that just comes. Listen, I travel all the time. I have, I have, I have in my little life. I don't know. Only God will tell. Only when we get to heaven. I will have the privilege of seeing the amount of poisons I have eaten in my life. One. Two. Only God knows the enchanters that speak spells every day concerning my life. You don't know? You want to be a man of God? You make impact and think the devil will fold his arms to watch. Never forget praying for one lady one time during Koinonia, um, during the counseling. And, and, and the spirit just shouted and said, Joshua, you, you. You know, just warning and all of that. Day and night, brothers and sisters, there are enchantments against the people of God. And so if you do not know where you stand, one outing you can leave and not return again. But let me tell you something. The Bible says the first Adam was made a quickening soul. But the second Adam has been made not a life-giving spirit. Not a life-possessing spirit. You have so much of that life. It is within your power to dispense it. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. How do you enforce your victory over this spirit of death? Especially in this day and age. Please write it down. There are principles. It doesn't happen by magic. Victory over the spirit of death. Number one, realize that in Christ, if you are born again and you have given your heart to Jesus Christ genuinely, the Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 1 that we are above. Everybody say, I'm above. I don't know how to make you believe it, but say, I am above. Say it again, I am above. It's a spiritual location. Ephesians 2 verse 1. So realize that you are from above. Hallelujah. It says, and you are sick, quickened, who were dead in your trespasses and sins. Verse 2. Wherein in time past, this and that and that and that, the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. Verse 3. Okay, let's, let's just run. Look for that part that says we have been exalted above. That's why I'm looking for. Verse what? Six. Six, please. Let's just run down. Let's save time. And he had raised who? Everybody say us. That means not just Christ alone. The Bible says in the curse we identified with him. Is that true? By the mystery of the Holy Communion. Is that true? We entered into him. And so because we partook of the sufferings of Christ, we also partake of the glory that follows. 
Are you getting my point now? And the Bible says, when he was raised up, we were raised up together with him. And he has made us to what? Sit in heavenly places. That's an exact spiritual location. Next verse. Ephesians 1. Everybody say, I've been raised up with Christ. And I'm seated with him. Far above. Say it again, far above. Far above accidents. Far above death. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, say it all. Far above accidents. Far above terrorism. Far above death. Far above wickedness. Hallelujah. Yes, I believe this with all my heart. I'm going to show you a powerful scripture when we're ready to pray. He said, which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead. Ah, uh, is that it? Anyway, let's, let's save time. 21. Oh, yes. Far above what? Principalities. How many of them? And power and might and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this world, because there are names in other worlds too that help people in this world. So he said, every name, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Say, I'm far above. Oh, hallelujah, I'm far above. Far above every devil. Far above every enchantment. Every act of witchcraft. Just pray it in one minute. I'm far above. I'm far above. I don't live by the sword. I won't die by the sword. I'm far above. Just pray in one minute and we'll sit down and continue. Man, take a parada balada. No, not a victim of accident. No, not a victim of bomb blast. By the mighty hand of God. Shake it, baba, baba. Shake out fear from your life. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from out of my mouth. I'm far above. Far above. In the name of Jesus. Far above thrones. Far above covens. Far above witchcraft. The Bible says it. I believe it. Jesus is Lord of my life. This word is true in my life. I'm far above. I don't doubt it. I'm far above. Sheke porokoto baba baba. I'm far above. Hallelujah. So that's the first revelation you must have. If you must conquer this spirit of death. I'm far above. Oh, hallelujah. Let them cast their spells. Far above. Far above. Make all the enchantments. I will go out and come back safe. I'm far above. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am far above. Man, take a labor and go super Far above. Death is a rider upon a horse. But I am far above. Hallelujah. Number two. <laughs> Hebrews chapter two from verse nine. Then we move to 14 and 15. Let me show you something powerful. Brothers and sisters, when a thing is a mystery in your life, it can confuse you. But when you unlock the mysteries, there is no confusion there again. Poverty was once as dangerous as death until men found out that there is an exact formula. And today they teach it with audacity. Is because many people have not studied the concept of death and life and they have not been able to prove to the body of Christ the same way men fear death that's how they fear demons is that true that's how they fear poverty until certain people say let's enter this thing and find out and they entered and came out they said there's nothing here
But we see Jesus. Hebrews 2 verse 9. Who was made a little lower than the angels of the... For what? The suffering of death. This is Jesus paying the price. Crowned with glory and honor. That he by the grace of God should do what? Should do what? Read your Bible. Should do what? Test death for who? Every man. The, this is your Bible. This is, that's why I started by saying, do you believe it? That means, once and for all, Jesus offered himself that the spirit of death will afflict him. Once for every man. It's not talking about sleeping. No. Jesus died a brutal death. That was the spirit of death. But he allowed it once so that no man would be buffeted by this nonsense again. The Bible says it. He tasted it. He tasted it. He tasted the sting of death. Are you getting my point? That was why when he was about to resurrect, those gates of death in, in Psalm 24 said, who is this king of glory that wants to come back? No! When we close the door, you cannot come back again. Except somebody in this realm calls you. Who wants to call himself back? He tasted death. He tasted death. He tasted death. I believe this with all my heart. See, it is the truth you know that will make you free. Not the truth you have heard about. It is not the light that rises that makes you arise. It is the one that comes to you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. It has always been there, but it will never work until it comes to you. He said, and the word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord came. Let's look at verse 14. Ah! I love the word of God. Everybody read. For as much as ye are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had what? The power of death that is the devil. Through death he passed through it so that he will destroy the power. The devil and his power. Remember in Revelation, he said power was given to that spirit. Verse 15. Everyone read. And deliver them who through the word stop. Not through who through death. Through the fear. There is a terror. There is a spirit. That's why every time wickedness is happening, the spirit of fear always precedes it. To make people afraid. When a habal is saying three days, you will not leave. He's releasing the spirit of fear. The fear of death. Where all their lifetime subject to what? This is what is going on. You can't go out in the morning because you are afraid. What if this car has an accident? What if the plane crashes? What if the luxurious just what if, what if, what if? Hi. Let me tell you. Brothers and sisters, do you believe what I'm sharing with you? You take this word as true and deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. The fear of death brings bondage. Some of you are supposed to have traveled. You can't travel because you are wondering the car Number three, realize that death has been defeated. Revelations 1 verse 18. Revelations 1 verse 18. Please, let's rush. Revelations 1 verse, 7, verse 18. Please just write it and then we'll read it quickly. One to read. This is Jesus speaking. I am he that liveth and was what? Dead. And behold, I am alive forever. Amen. And I have the keys 
Is that in your Bible? I have the keys. In other words, it is within my power to control its operation. I have the keys. Please realize this. I'm building up a revelation. So we see that he tasted death and he has the keys. We're going to find out where that key is today. Because he was talking to the churches. Talking to John and then to the churches. He said, I have the keys. First Corinthians 15 verse 55. The scripture we saw. How can a spirit terrorize nations? Terrorize people? Oh death! Where is your sting? It likens the way death takes people to the sting of a scorpion. So he said, I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions. Scorpions that sting. He said, oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, you have been boasting that any man you take must enter. Where is now your victory? There are people who have defied the power of the grave. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Number four. How do you enforce your victory? You must apply the blood of Jesus by faith. Now I'm teaching you how to make it work in your life. Exodus chapter 12, please. Verse 7 and then 12 to 14. Please, let's hurry up. Exodus chapter 12. Moses showed us this revelation. Everyone look up. Now, hold on. Can you see that this is not the first time the spirit of death is passing over regions? Is that true? It has happened many times. And you can exempt yourself and your loved ones first and then stand to speak over others. You cannot give what you do not have. Is that true? And they shall take off the blood and strike it on the two sides of the posts. And on the upper door post of the house wherein they shall eat it. Verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And smite the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt I will execute vengeance. I am the Lord. 13. And the blood shall be unto you. What? A token. A sign. A symbol. A, an indication. For when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And what? The plague. The plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. What's the name of that virus again? Huh? Ebola virus. And the plague, the Bible calls it a plague. It said, it shall not be upon you because it comes to destroy. It shall not be upon you. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, I have prayed for too many people to contact communicable disease if I was faking what I'm telling you. Are you getting my point? It's easy to pray for people in a distance. But when you lay hands on people and you are breathing on people, I do this everywhere I go. I would have caught all kinds of things by now. The last time I went for a medical checkup, the doctor was surprised. See, the Bible says, we, it says we are not, how did he put it? We have not brought to you cunningly devised fables. If you don't believe this thing, it will show in your life one day. And it will become obvious that truly you do not know. Hallelujah. Verse 14. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And you shall keep the feast. What feast? You shall keep this mystery of the application of the blood. It's not an Old Testament concept. To the Lord throughout your generation. He said, you shall keep the feast in an ordinance. When? Are you seeing it now? It didn't say it will expire. 
the mystery of the operation of the blood to bring deliverance and to secure you is a mystery that had been there even before Jesus died. And the Bible says it is an ordinance that you will keep if you are interested in living. Are, are you getting what I'm saying now? So you must plead the blood. And there are three ways to plead the blood. Number one, in prayers. When you pray, you plead that blood as the price. The blood not only saves, it delivers, it protects. You plead the blood in prayers. Hallelujah. Number two, by the mystery of the communion. The mystery of the communion. The cup, the body, and the cup. He says, for this cause, many of you take it unworthily, and some of you are sick, some of you are weak, and some of you do sleep. Number three, the mystery of the blood of sprinkling. Hallelujah. He said, you shall sprinkle it upon your walls and upon every of these things. Three scriptural ways of engaging the power of the blood to bring us victory. Let's hurry up. The last way, or the last way of enforcing your victory is through the authority and power that is conferred in the name of Jesus. I like this one. Goodness. One of my best scriptures, Luke 10, 19, please. I'm about to jump up right now. Hmm. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain. Behold, see, conceive it as a reality that I have given you. I give you. The word there is not power like dunamis. is the word exousia. I give you authority. The authority that comes with my office, I give it to you. To tread upon serpents, scorpions, and over how many? All the powers of the enemy. This is the best part of the verse. And nothing shall by any means, you went to school. Brothers and sisters, what is the meaning of by any means? Whether it is by your mistake, whether it's by your lack of prayer, what by any means, if you stand in this office, I stake my reputation that when it comes to protecting you, nothing shall by any means. There are different means it can come through. Your carelessness, right? Your miss. I, I teach you a secret of spiritual immunity. You will walk through challenges that are killing others by a mystery that you will never be able to understand. He said, nothing, nothing, nothing. It is on the strength of this scripture. The Bible says, surely they shall gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, they shall scatter. He said, they will come to you in one way and scatter in seven ways. Behold, I give you authority. Exousia. While I was in the earth, there was authority that was given to me. And by reason of that authority, forces bowed. They didn't bow because my name was called Jesus. They bowed because of this authority. Are you getting my point now? And the Bible says, Philippians chapter 2, from verse 10, it says, Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name. What is in a name? It's an office. Jesus is not just the name of a person. The word Lord, see, listen. He said, God gave him a name. The name is not Jesus. I hope you know. I hope you know. No, the name is not Jesus. We call Jesus because 
it was the name of the person that stood in that office. Let's read on verse 10. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and of things in heaven and in earth and things under the earth. Next verse, please. And that every tongue should confess that that Jesus has entered this office called Lord. That's the name. That's the name. Lord, Master, Absolute Controller. And the Bible says whoever. That's why the Bible said the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. The walls and they. It was the revelation. It was the coronation service that the psalmist saw. So he said the Lord said to my Lord. Sit down at the right hand until I make your enemies. He never mentioned Jesus there. He said the Lord. The absolute control of the universe. Now said to my Lord. Who got it by conquest. Sit down. And the Bible says, whoever enters this office, some things will start becoming possible. Are you getting my point? In Mark chapter 16, it said, this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, in this office, higher, it said, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Whoever carries this office becomes a controller, becomes a mysterious commander. Listen, if I cannot make it for Koinonia or I, there is a program and they keep a seat here, right? And they say this seat is for um, maybe the president or the pastor somewhere, right? And I call Yinka and I say, Yinka, I cannot make it, but I send you with my name. Are you seeing that? What they are interested in is not the personality. It is the office. The moment he comes, listen. If Yinka donates 5 million, whether I like it or not, everybody say whoever occupies this office. That's why SSG, the secretary of the federal government will go and represent good luck. And they will say, and the president said, every presidential car you see presidency. It doesn't mean Aso Rock. That means the collection of the people that are in this office. I hear the chains falling. You will only confront death when you stand in this office and say, Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, that vicious devil that will make a driver lose control and maim and destroy people. Where is your sting? Listen, the patriarchs of old were men of war. They fought war from birth till they died. Yet they were not afraid of the sword. It's not like our own that periodically it comes. They were born and bred in war. David was a man of war. I hear the chains falling. I come in that name. He sent me as an ambassador. Oh, I believe it. 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. An ambassador is one who has been sent. 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 Dear Lostborn saw so many miracles in his crusade. And when he stands on the crusade ground, he says, do you believe in Jesus? And they say, yes. He says, he sent me. He sent me to this crusade. To tell you your sins are forgiven. He sent me to declare. I'm speaking to you. That in that office your sins are forgiven. Now. Then. We are what? Ambassadors. Envoys. Representatives. With the full backing of heaven. The full backing. The Bible says. As my father has sent me. The same way he equipped me. The same way he was there for me. That I could call on a legion of angels. Brothers and sisters. This is not about being a man of God. 
this is your positional advantage. This is really the revelation of what we call new creation realities. Hallelujah. So you realize that is a spirit. It's not omnipresent. It operates through a network of wicked devils. But it's a spirit. And the revelation that you know translates into light. And when that death sees you because light cannot, darkness cannot stand light. So they shall take up deadly things and it shall not hurt them. They shall pass an environment that has Ebola virus. And rather than destroying them, it will be a blessing for those who are infected because you come in the power. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, the Bible says before the, the great and terrible day of the Lord, Elijah will appear again. You know who Elijah was? Elijah is the spirit of the prophetic. It's a true apostolic spirit that will challenge anything that is not God. Hallelujah. It's important what you believe. It's important what you believe. Say, I refuse to fear. Say it, I refuse to fear. You must kill fear from your life. Brothers and sisters, people do not just die. And you know, hold on. If it's just death that many people are afraid of, do you know there is a state that you'll be alive and you'll beg for death? Because of the, the, the way the devil can bastardize your body. The Bible says he kept his bones so that none of them are broken. Have you read that in your Bible? That's what we call shalom. It's a covenant of peace. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Hallelujah. And he said, peace I give you. He was not talking of quietness. He means I give you an ability to be undisturbed. My peace I give unto you. Not, that the, not as the world gives. So you can stand up tall. And people are asking you, what is the basis? You are just talking nonsense. Listen, I was in the city of Jos. Five days to 9-11, on the 7th, 7th of September, 2001, I think, that was when the first disastrous strike of the enemy, I was in the town. I was in the middle of all of these things. Are you getting my point? In my little life, I have seen a lot of things. When the plane crash that was going to happen some years ago, I think last year or two years ago, I was on my way to worry. I could feel that spirit of death. See, it's not that it chooses a particular plane. They are blood-tested spirits that just keep hoping something will work. Well, because we had problem landing and then we landed and we went to worry. I knew something was wrong. On my way back, I, I flew to Kano. While we were in the air, that was when the, uh, the, the plane crash was happening. So many people were calling me and because my phone was switched, they thought that, ah, something happened. Ha! Ah, Paul will go to a city, they will kill him. As soon as they leave, he will get up. <laughs> Mystery man. Yeah, it's in your Bible. Paul died many times. He would just lie down. And once they move, he would just get up. Don't get excited for nothing. Do you believe it? I remember a time when I saw in a vision, I saw my mother's coffin. I knew it was over. I saw people there crying. I saw it. And I got up. Ah, my family. There is a lady here, I'm sure she may be part of the people here. She used to be, when she was an unbeliever, she, used, she had one serious sickness, infirmity, and she was in the hospital. She told me that every time it was around maybe three to four, she would see the spirit of death. It would enter the world. You know how doctors walk around. She didn't know it was death, but this particular man will just enter and walk around to several beds. In the morning you hear crying. Oh death, where is your sting? 
I have met the spirit of death once. Face to face in my life. Let me tell you that story briefly and then we pray. I was in secondary school. And the way we arrange our beds, I was close to the door. Listen, I'm being very sincere with you. I didn't know it was the spirit of death. While I was sleeping, very cold, I saw, you know how these films where they have these people that put on hood, like knights, all these kinds of people, that's how it came. I woke up, I was not in a vision, brothers and sisters, the same way I'm looking at you like this. He was walking around the hostel, as though looking for someone. And then while it, everybody was deep asleep, which was mysterious, there was no light. And then while it was about to go out, I was looking at it, it was looking at me. When it was about to turn, I looked at it. Very dark, with just bulgy eyes, you cannot see it. Some of you who have watched that film, Lord of the Rings, you know how those, those guys are, those kings, that's how it is. How do you think those people wrote these things? I saw it. I never had a conversation. But today, I know I will meet it many times in many miracle services and in my travels across. And I've made up my mind, I will stamp it every day of my life. You must make that determination because death is real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The sting of death is real. If you joke with what I'm telling you, you will be alive in the morning. Ten minutes later, you are out. Take men of courage and audacity. Who is God speaking to tonight? Fear not, brothers and sisters. Not the arrows of terrorism. There is a prophetic destiny in this nation. And the soul of this nation is already with God. Beyond the reach of anything. I shared this thing when I was teaching in, in PFN Crusade in Abuja. That's the reason why Nigeria has the letter Y on the rivers. It's an imprint of the signature of the word Yahweh. That God is in charge. Listen. Upon this nation. Yes. It's not, it has nothing to do with Lord Lugard. That was a writing. Isaiah 18. A land whose rivers divide. God wrote his name there. Listen. You know why he used the waters? Go and read your Bible. Water has always symbolized abundance. And it has always symbolized the echo of God's voice. The voice of God upon the waters is mighty. Hallelujah. So many things will happen in this nation. Let me tell you. You see the thing happening? The Bible says, why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The church needs to pray. And we need to realize that our prayers can withhold evil. Let's not just sit down powerless and hope that nothing will happen. Are you getting my point? And then number two, walk the principles of the kingdom. And brothers and sisters, you can walk fine, you can walk alive, you can move on strong. Refuse to die. It's a choice. Choose life. He said, I set before you. Is that true? Blessing and cursing. I didn't say the other three parts because obedience to parents, you already know that, right? And then your assignment. These are the three other factors that govern longevity. Your choice, choosing life. Obey your father and your mother that your days will be long and it will be well with you. And then finally, I shall not die but live to declare. Are you ready to pray now? Rise up on your feet. Let's do some prayer even if it's just for five minutes. Hallelujah. Please spare yourself 3-3. Three, three. We are going to pray. Before we pray for you, we are going to intercede for this country. 3-3. Three, three. Come on now. Let's pray. I call for that priest in you. Because we are about to pray. Spare yourselves and let's pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shekete Papa. Pray for Zaria. Pray for Kaduna State. That's your Jerusalem. We stay the power of evil and death and terrorism. 
we command as ambassadors shekete pokotopa we challenge thrones we challenge yokes we challenge spells every manifestation of the spirit of death of the sword of the wickedness of men we command those spirits rekete kotopokotopa renteleke brosa embrekete tekete papa papa we cause the powers in the heavens we cause the powers we cause the activities of necromancers the activities of sorcerers the activities of wizards make a poroto papaya he makes the diviners mad a preteke telepa he causes the wisdom of the wise to go backward we pray in the name of jesus we challenge death over Syria, over Kaduna, over the north, over Nigeria. We rebuke you. We are the apostolic voices that cry, restore, restore, restore. You will not take the souls of men. We forbid you by the hand of God. We forbid you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We forbid you. We forbid you. We forbid you. We pray for the peace of Syria. We pray for the peace of Kaduna State. We pray for the peace of the North. We pray for the peace of our dear nation, God's own nation, with the signature of His Majesty upon the borders of our nation. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? Oh death, where is your sting? Hallelujah. 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 Listen. I want you to rebuke the spirit of death. You now know it's a spirit. Cast it away from our environment. Cast it away from your family. It will not come upon the head of any of your loved ones. Go ahead and speak. I cause death over this territory, over my family. My loved ones are covered. There is a shield. There is a shield. That rider upon a pale horse will never find entrance. Not by accident. Not by sickness. Not by pestilence. Not by plague. I break the power of death. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And they overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. I'd like you to plead the blood of Jesus across the territories like the lintel of the houses and upon your life and your family. Go ahead and plead the blood. We invoke the power of the blood. We invoke the mystery of the blood. The mystery of the blood. The mystery of the blood. Shake it, 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 shake it
Rekotopokotopa Pray Koinonia Over Zaria We invoke The mystery of the blood Over Kaduna State We invoke The mystery of the blood Over Nigeria We invoke the mystery of the blood Over our families We command the blood the power of the blood. We are sealed with the blood unto protection, unto perseverance, unto preservation, unto health, unto wellness. Pray. He said, My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone forth from my mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. It says, I give you power. I give you authority. Hallelujah. I give you authority. Exousia. I bring you into an office. And I give you the backing of that office. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. And in the name of Jesus, you are going to release life everywhere. Everywhere. In your life, go ahead. Stretch your hands across the north, the south, the east, the west. Go ahead and begin to prophesy life. Go ahead. We speak life. We speak life. Life. We prophesy life to the borders of this city. We prophesy life. Life. We come in the authority of the Lord Jesus. Life. Life. In all the 36 states of the Federation, we speak life. 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 We prophesy it. We release the spirit of life. We prophesy life. We speak life. 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 In the name of Jesus, we are life giving spirit. We command life. 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 Health. Vitality. Life. Life. Hallelujah. Look up, we're rounding up. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now let me explain to you what you just did. Verse 2. For the law that activates the spirit of life can do something. It can set men free. There is a principle that activates the operation. Are you seeing it now? When it comes to conquering sin and death, there is a spiritual law. He it said it's called the law of the spirit of life that is resident in Christ Jesus. For the law. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. You are going to invoke the operation of this law in your life. And say in my life right now the law of life the spirit of life begins to work every dead organ hear the word of the Lord every infirmity the spirit of life 
the spirit of life the spirit of life holy spirit manifest as the spirit of life in my body no cancer no hiv no ebola virus no infirmity the spirit of life activated is a law it needs to be activated the law of the spirit of life the law of the spirit of life that is resident in Christ Jesus immunes me sets me free from the oppression that brings sin and death I choose life I choose life in my body I choose life Hallelujah 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 Psalm 91 Psalm 91 From verse 4 He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Next verse. Thou shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Next verse. Nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, not the destruction that wasted in noonday. Next verse. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand by thy right side, but none shall come near, near you. Say it shall not come near me. Say it, it shall not come near me. Now in the next one minute, with every strength you have, you know all the weapons that this spirit uses. Accident, whatever, come against them. You are far from my dwelling. No accident. Not to my life. Not to my family. Not to God's people. I cause that spirit. Pray. No death, no accident, not by the sword, not by the arrows of wicked men, not by gunshots of robbers. And wicked men, there is a spiritual immunity at work in my life, at work in my family. Hallelujah. 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 Let's look at two scriptures. Matthew 16, 28. Very quickly, we're almost rounding up. But this is very important. For many of us, I tell you the truth. This will give you confidence. Are you ready to read? Want to read? Very 
verily I say unto you, there are some people who are standing here. By whatever spiritual immunity, they will defy the laws of death. And they will be standing tall until they see the Son of Man. John 8, verse 51. We're rounding up. Please believe these things. This is what makes men confident in this kingdom. You must be standing upon something. One to read. This is in your Bible. It may be very difficult for many of us. He said, man shall not live by bread alone. There is another technology that can sustain the life of a man. He said, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. And the Bible says, if you keep that saying, it can do something to you. It will become for you the same thing as eating of the tree of life. And it can sustain you. Hallelujah. The last scripture and then we are done. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are doers of the word. And God is committed to making this happen. There is no magic about it. Verse, from verse 2. Or 3. Let's save time. Verse 3. Verse 3. Blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall thou be in the field. Verse 4. Verse 4. He said, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Listen, take seriously what I'm saying. I'm not just speaking nonsense. And blessed shall be the fruit of your ground. Blessed shall be your cattle and the increase of thy king and the flocks of thy sheep. Verse 5. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Verse 6. This is the verse. Prophesy to yourself. One to read. Listen. That means when you go out, you are expected to return. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are going to pray. This is the last prayer point. The Bible says you are blessed when you come in. That means you go on a journey we expect you to return. Hallelujah. You are in a flight we expect you to arrive. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what happens. Lift your voice and pray. I am blessed. As I go out, as I come in, I am blessed. Empowered supernaturally. Shekete ba 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 ba. Blessed in my coming in. Blessed in my going out. Blessed in my coming in. Blessed in my going out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is the responsibility of the believer to intentionally use your faith to create an exact expectation. Lord, I am trusting that you will visit me. I am crippled. I am trusting that this leg will work. Lord, there are all kinds of oppression in my life. All doors have been closed. I'm trusting that the doors will be open. You cannot say, Lord, just come, do whatever you want to do. That's not a very wise prayer. You have to define. He said, give us this day. He didn't just say what we want. Give us this day our daily bread. He can give many things. He sent quails. He sent bread. He brought water out of the rock. There are several things he can do. You define the possibilities of God that should be communicated to you through your faith. But much more than just blind faith through specificity. Specificity of desire. 
specificity of um, intention are we together now so i just thought that it is very important in fact this is a general principle that works in life not just when it comes to receiving from god you will never achieve anything when there is no exact desire you will never achieve anything when there is no specificity there has to be that dimension of exactness lord i am trusting you for a move of the spirit in my life i'm trusting you that my ministry will step into another dimension i'm trusting you that my family will step into another dimension end the plague of sickness and all kinds of things when you connect this way then it becomes impossible for you to walk without a miracle hallelujah praise the lord let me encourage our hearts this morning before we rise up john 14 verse 12 i am a firm believer in the bible the words of jesus are no story to me when i read them i believe them they are not just scripture they are life i believe them exactly as they are written jesus is teaching here and this is what he says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me whoever believes on me he says the works that i do he shall also do and greater works than this shall he do because i go to the father jesus now there are all kinds of theological debates as to what exactly jesus was talking about um, many people meant a higher dimension of reality other people talk of greater results regardless of what dimension you look at it jesus was saying there is a possibility of walking in a dimension that you were not born with listen carefully a dimension that is god's own class of results are we together now he's teaching us how to live a life that is invincible and this is what he says he says that greater dimensions that you have seen manifest you will walk in and you see every time god speaks before he utters a word he vets and probes himself whether he has the capacity to make good that word every time he speaks it is a communication of a a resolve he has searched and he has found out that what he's saying is within his capacity to produce it there are several people in need of the touch of god people talk about anointing all the time they want to step into deeper dimensions they want to tap into the wave of revival that is sweeping across cities and by the way i want you to know that there is a mighty move of god that is happening across the continent of africa specifically nigeria um, away with all those blind talks that people talk as if nothing is happening it takes the eye of the spirit to see the formation there is a mighty mighty move of the spirit an awakening that is sweeping across and what a joy it is to participate in contributing our quota to that 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 unstoppable tsunami that will sweep across the nations of the earth the, the word of god is full of prophecies that points to those seasons that a time will come in the dealings of god with men where they will be able to tap into higher dimensions of his possibility they will be able to cause his glory to be revealed across territories in measures and dimensions that have not been previously known so i want you to believe up front that we are a people who believe all of god and we are a people who have aligned ourselves to allowing god find full expression there is no limit to the dimension of god that can be revealed every time god looks limited the limitation is not his capacity it is our inability to understand his system and to align enough to bring down to be able to host all the multifaceted possibilities that are contained in him are we together now and tonight there are several cases right from home i began to see several situations that touched my heart and i said lord you can't let your people go that way and the lord put something in my heart that i just want to share with us very briefly and then we'll pray i have a passion and a commitment to helping people have an encounter a true encounter not just a noise making encounter an encounter with a definite result that you will leave and it will be very clear that heaven found expression in your life 
heaven found expression in your situation heaven found expression that your life will be an epistle to let people know that jesus is not limited in any way if you believe that say amen, amen. hallelujah first john chapter 5 and verse 4 apostle john taught us something very remarkable first john chapter 5 and then verse 4 and he said for whatsoever is born of god whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world are we together now that's the expression there whatever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world but then he says that that overcoming is engaged through a system the dear lady who led prayer here taught us about spiritual intelligence are we together every time you see possibilities in scripture now there are two dimensions i've taught you of accessing the reality of scripture there is the prophetic dimension realities as far as god's dimension is concerned but there is the experience of it where it becomes manifest in your life on the strength of your engaging the required mysteries that demonstrate your partnership with god to actualize it are we together now so here the bible says whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world the rendition there is has capacity enshrined in it is the composition to overcome this system and all the limitations that come with it and then he says and this is the victory in other words this is the system wherewith the victory was designed to find expression he says even our faith even our faith even our faith it takes faith in this kingdom to be able to produce realities that have been represented in scripture realities that are capable of being our testimony the fact that the bible records them does not mean they will happen automatically i think this is one of the biggest challenges to the body of christ i don't think we are unaware of the provisions that are guaranteed from scripture but the systems everybody says systems say it one more time systems the systems of the kingdom that were built around those possibilities the inability to access what system was designed to produce what outcome will make us continue to look at scripture and believe they are there but never walk in the experience of it it is god's desire not only that we read the bible and see possibilities written therein but that our lives become epistles that those realities that are represented in the bible must find expression in my life and your life when the bible says that a believer should walk in miracles signs and wonders we can read it we can write books about it but there is it's an entirely different thing to engage the systems required to bring that individual into an experience of it are we together the bible says for instance they shall lay hands on the sick many people have tried it they laid hands on the sick and the sick were not healed every time you try a thing and it does not work there is something you do not understand about what you studied that's why it takes a spirit of revelation ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 the prayer of paul to the church you don't have to turn there he cried they were born again they were believers but he knew that they needed to be assisted by a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit otherwise they would never enter into the experience of the kingdom Nicodemus came to Jesus by night chapter 3 of John and he says verse 1 rabbi he says we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things and then he said unto him in verse 3 he says verily verily I say unto you except a man be born again listen carefully he says he cannot see the kingdom then the next verse nicodemus says how can how can a man be born for a second time can he enter back into his mother's womb and then verse 5 he opens up up to another dimension he says verily verily i say unto you except a man listen be born of what water and the spirit then he says he cannot enter so he talks of seeing the kingdom an awareness of the possibilities that are there you know that there is a provision in the dealings of god with men 
for the sick to be healed there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men are immune from the ability of sicknesses to touch them there is a provision where we are lifted above the grip of 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 demons and devils but it's one thing to have that awareness listen believers but it's another thing to understand the systems and the mysteries that were attached to be able to cause us to walk in the experience of that outcome so we we hold several scriptures that we cannot defend with our lives there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached i am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience just like shortly we're going to be celebrating the victory miracles upon miracles but the issue is not just an anointed man the issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of god are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding you see most of us um the theology about faith listen carefully the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in god faith is not just believing unseen things um they don't have to be unseen faith it's not just believing on seeing things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction you'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering no sir encounters are necessary for believers that's why the holy spirit was given to us the spirit of truth are we together now so he introduces encounters in our lives you can read the bible and quote a scripture it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture you may even learn it and know it of heart sincerely speaking it has not been released in your heart but when the holy ghost breathes upon it it does something to you and that scripture comes alive it's called an encounter occasionally it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction but the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion unbending resolve persuasion about the possibility of god as far as that matter is concerned are we blessed second timothy please chapter 1 and verse 12 let's look at second timothy 1 verse 12 the b part second timothy chapter 1 and verse 12 The B part says, For I know whom I have believed. Everybody say, I know whom I have believed. Now, you went to school, understand that construction. It didn't say, I have believed. Uh -uh. I know whom. So it's talking about a person first. I had an encounter, and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him. Are we together now? And then he says, And I am persuaded that he that person i've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of god's ability i have had an encounter with him i have had an encounter with his word so when i read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation 
You don't say, well, Lord, I will try you. Let me hope that you will work today. If you don't work, no, 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 no. There is a, rev a level of resilience. You see, the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions. The depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions. It's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void, there is a lapse in conviction. And this is a product of um, the haze that is around our encounters with the word of God. Not the reading of it, not the memory of it, but that there is a gap. It is obvious. If I look at this gentleman right now and I tell you, do you know you are sitting on the ground? He's not going to pray about it. He knows he's sitting on a seat. Are we together? He's had an encounter with that seat. His, his, even his physical senses have, have responded to that reality. He knows he's sitting. No matter how I try to sway him, he has entered a dimension of resolve. He knows he's sitting on a seat. If I tell him this seat is going to break, he says, no, not just that I, I have seen the dimensions. I understand the strength of this seat. It can take my weight. Listen. God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys they are fierce and so is it okay if I ask for a sign it is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced I know that there are people here pastors who have come from several places let me challenge you do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter it will destroy your life you will destroy your ministry you will lack explanations you will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life i always say never stand before pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush say encounters bible faith starts with encounters encounters produce convictions convictions now allow you to act and take steps it is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word that's faith until action is taken there is no faith are we together now I've always given this example um, let me use you John Hold on. I'm going to stand there. Stand there. Just stand there. I'm going to call John. I want you to answer me, but don't come. Is that all right? John, come. Say, I'm coming. Has he come? So as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me. Because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming, but you have not come. I interpret your not coming as a sign that you, you are expressing concern about my reliability. You are wondering if I really have this. But if I say, John, come and you come. Come. That step of faith puts pressure on my integrity. If I am joking, I better found a way of correcting it. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4, listen. The Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer. And then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled. Now, they were not stupid. That man was crippled. If you've seen a crippled man, you know that there are no strength in his limbs. Even if he stands, you know that he would take the grace of God. And then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. Listen, I give unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus, I come under an authority. I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government. And I ask you, if you believe, stand. The Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities. But at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. 
and then the Bible says Peter had to help him hold my hands the Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping leaping the power is released at the point of action it is the action that makes it faith not the determination to act the determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith but the faith is only when action is taken he leaping stood he leaping stood he would have remained there forever he leaping stood Are we together now? Yes. So when, when, when you hear the word of God, you see this is why the dispensing of the word of God is so important. Because faith is based on a basis. And the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes and then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the holy ghost helps your own belief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that god is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barring and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe i i believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that, Lord, I am willing to act. Listen. The final step is action, but not blind action. It has to be the action required by God. This is where we miss it again. Are we together? Confession is a generic action. That ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith. The Bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and therefore I speak. So we believe and therefore we speak. Are we together? Speaking is a generic action. But there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives. That require actions that must be added in addition to speaking. For instance... The action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the Lord your tithe. Are we together now? No matter how much you confess your heavens opening, you must take that action. And if you take that action not believing, you just dropped money. You drop 10% of an amount. It's not a charm. The power is released through understanding. I am coming because I have an understanding. I have a comprehension of what I am doing. And Lord, I thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven. Hebrews 7 and verse 8, the Bible says, Here on earth men gave tithes, but in heaven he received them. Talking about the system with which God performs that function of his office that is in the order of Melchizedek. 
right like he received the tithe of abraham and spoke a blessing upon abraham so he our melchizedek our high priest receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives but that will never happen just by dropping money it's not about the money there is an understanding so your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens are we together now you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam. that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising god and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we start scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir it will always come from god through men to you are we together Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works. That was not the limitation of his power. It was not the limitation of his spirit. But the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire. Tonight, listen, ladies and gentlemen, God did not gather us here to waste our time. It is within his power to change our lives. It is within his power to wipe our tears. Are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation 
invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away there are people here with sicknesses diseases infirmities real sicknesses probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals and um maybe they've told you you have a few months to live you have a few weeks to live now and of course we have a lot of doctors here i respect their opinion that's their opinion is their educated opinion but tonight whose report will you believe i believe in jesus i believe in his words There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues husband is about to go wife is about to go children are haywire and they are trusting lord would you give us order of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um, in the course of the week and um, when I went there I was I was counseling a few people and then I saw a young lady I think a, a couple or so I can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time I was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting God for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes I don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice anything that is not consistent with the counsel of god it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with god's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for god wants to step in there are people here and i believe this probably affects a lot of people especially with the recession the reality of lack and poverty lord what is the way out lord what is the way out i can't keep struggling from hand to mouth we've shared extensively there are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and i would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now god can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen, amen. there are people here trusting god for direction you have come confused not knowing what to do you thought you had god but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and god must speak for you i want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction 
and finally all of these are lists that the spirit of god was just writing out for me as i i mean just stating out as i i i wrote them out and lastly there are people here trusting god for very strong impartations what is an impartation a transference of possibilities transference of possibilities impartation is as real as the chair you're sitting on you can transfer possibilities possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this I want you to know that the God of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the Lord is going to be healing the sick the Lord is going to be setting the captives free and like I told us last week it is also an anointing service and I don't I don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that God gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the Lord asked me it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it there is a heavy grace oil does not anoint the oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed nothing is anointed on its own it has to be anointed to become a platform are we together now tonight what is your responsibility be convicted be persuaded that God is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know I humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe say lord tonight I believe you I know you are able and I trust you to step in in the name of Jesus it will be for you like day and night just all of a sudden you will find out that that door that has been closed maybe forever listen it doesn't take time time is not in the equation I've taught you this time is never in the equation the anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion the anointing of the spirit is god's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with are we together now we are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men this is not some kind of superior science this is not superior spiritism we are talking of god showing up in the scene standing face to face with a man's barrier hallelujah I want you to be angry tonight and insist thank you and say Lord that door must be open I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session have you experienced the reality of triumph I mean there are people here who whose testimonies have been tearsome tonight you can activate something that will make your 
six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they called them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men listen, believe it believe it brothers and sisters yokes are breakable causes are destroyable limitations are breakable are you hearing what I'm saying? sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you overcome. You are the victor. You are the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive the spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, come. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances. Come open doors, come speed, come speed, loose chains, loose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations diminish the power of God. It doesn't take time. The level of grace it takes to produce your results is available. Mm. It's available. I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit. Number one is through encounters. When you have an encounter, something is deposited into you. Number two, by obedience to principles. There is a dimension of God's power that is deposited in principles. Whether a believer or an unbeliever, whoever activates those principles, that dimension of his power is released immediately. Like the power of seed time and harvest is not for Christians. A dimension of God's power was encapsulated in that principle. But the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with God. Men have covenant with God. Not old and new. Their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Every high thing must come down 
every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's surround. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday now. While I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover. And then I had a dream. Now, you know, I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people. And I had the, a dream. And then the Lord was telling me, you know, I should, how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you. And then something strange happened. I just opened my eyes. And there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and I looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the Lord says I should put my hand on this jar this jar and I tell you I was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup I just put my hand there and I was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that God gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute. You say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katapracatalados. Encreto katalabrande secate pracatalabadas. Jabrete kate proscodo brandi gedibalas. Jabrandes kariada balada balada bosh. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows one two three by the grace of God and he will grant us grace in the name of Jesus Christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of God comes I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now will you open up the gate yeah. open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Open up the gate. Open up the door. 
Open up the gates of the Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys. We know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take it, folks. Right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia, embrekete ketos, shakato setash. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus this is a baptism keys that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing a bunch of keys lord jesus for your glory let the closed door open at the count of three one two three the name that is above all names access in the realm of the spirit Japato sote lekata I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare the opening of strange gates, the opening of strange gates. hallelujah hallelujah we're going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass around and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of jesus miracles in the name of jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost miracles in the name of jesus supernatural miracles i release you now i release you now i release you now I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of the living God. There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 chains. Chains, break it now. Chains, break it now. 
Chains breaking now. Get ready, this road. I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow Sotosh Kalai. Rakataka, let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken. Broken, 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 broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus. Broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy by the anointing of the Holy Ghost 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord a wind of his spirit coming here Lord what is happening here in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit out of a pit, out of a pit, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare captivity ended in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring lives now. That demonic ring lives now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring lives now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings, rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Ataparatoshi. Can I go out? Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place, in the name of Jesus. Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit, now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit, the Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. Kapota kata. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up in the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil. Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is saying, in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus. The anointing is touching some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus. Out of him. Yes, I'll speak in this young man. Be God now in the name of Jesus. In the 
in the name of Jesus. Out. Now. Out now. Out now. Out now. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over. Over. In the name of Jesus. Over. Now. In the name of Jesus. No matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here. God wants to now declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this, four now, three, overflow, eight. at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus, something is going to happen right to the back, I'm seeing fire, one, two, three, now, 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 cause those spirits, I release breakthroughs now, in this overflow, in the name of Jesus, to the back, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, I'm seeing several of you inside pit. Come out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on. Be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is something. God is touching you. The first four rows inside. Inside the main building. First four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family, and the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't don't think because you are outside came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome. Salome. Who is Salome? Someone outside here. Salome. I'm standing close to you. Salome, come. Stand here. In the name of Jesus. I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. So, Kua. Hallelujah. Please, don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Look at me, look at me. Two of you shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. Yeah. 
the end of it lord i set them free help them under the anointing please there is someone the spirit of the lord is ministering to me i don't know what god is people outside there is somebody around here want to prophesy to the person bring the person that's the person in the name of jesus christ i'm i'm seeing a snake god my god i'm seeing it not not this person i'm seeing a snake and the lord is saying even the lawful captives that's what the spirit of god is ministering to me please lift your hands those of you here someone has got to be free i'm lord that person right now i pray in the name of jesus let the hand of god come upon that person right now that person has to be free has to has to be free in the name of jesus in the name of jesus here it is is coming now i see like light coming on someone right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i set you free now by the power of the holy spirit i set you free i'm ministering to people Kauna. is there a name like that Kauna. is it Kauna or Kauna? please to very fast Kauna. who is that I'm, I'm going to this overflow now Kauna. is there someone like that please i want you to open your mouth and say lord i receive the breakthrough you are bringing lift your voice and begin to speak it I receive it. I receive it. Oga, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I'm seeing a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now, this very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus, it's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk into the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very fast because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to stand no. up. Anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand up, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God. I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Jesus them now in the name of Jesus I bring you life by the power of the spirit the life of the life of God by the power of the spirit lives life right now in the name of Jesus Christ every darkness every trace of darkness leaves 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 now leaves now 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. 
somewhere here someone with pile is being healed now someone with pile you're going to feel like fire going through your body we'll pray for the sick shortly be healed now fire is on your head be healed now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a yoke of delay here this row somebody somebody has to be free now in the name of jesus christ let that delay be broken by the power of the holy ghost let that delay be broken by the power of the holy ghost it's to a new level in the name of jesus the lord is renewing 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 i hear renewal in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm standing in this row because the angel of the lord is standing here and he wants to touch somebody right now in the name of jesus let it be over let it be over by the power of the holy ghost right now please help them my god my sister you are praying and i'm hearing your prayer come you are telling the lord to visit you i'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the lord is saying i should that he should give you a visitation who is this this is your husband yes sir where is he is he breathing i want to pray for you i don't like what i see right the lord is going to set them free because i've seen everything is tied down for this family nothing is working yes sir is that true the lord is going to step in now edo state edo state i'm from edo state but the spirit of god is showing me in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for you Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the Spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now everyone from Benway State, get ready, the anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State, Benway State, the Lord is setting people free. Benway State, right now, Shekratos, Kalatos, inside and outside, Benway State, Benway State, inside, outside, Benway State, I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State, anointings, Mata Lakota, is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does, where he locates people by states locates people by state and pray now if you're in benway state this unction is on you the work is on you inside my god i'm seeing people inside inside main auditorium breakthroughs 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 i'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs strange breakthroughs strange breakthroughs or to go shakato sekete e greto shalabariata embrakato shataya la kosata there is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob, 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 you're, I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob, lift your hands, it's over now, forever, over, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the, there's somebody praying in this room, the power of God is coming on him now, someone is praying a prayer, in the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level, the spirit of wisdom is coming upon you in the name of jesus christ is it asabe asabe i'm hearing the name asabe quickly i want to see how god will grant us grace this evening there are so many sick people we have to pray for asabe is it asabe i'm hearing asabe in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear look at my eyes my eyes look at my eyes 
break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name, Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking about at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You are from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside. Ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people. Southern Kaduna. Miracles. Miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover the cover of a well being opened in the name of Jesus let it be by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of the living God let it end now I stretch my hands to you let it end captivity must end in the name of Jesus Christ captivity must end now Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotas. Embre kete shala pradosa subriada. Shala prende keto prasada banana ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is, these are not just miracles. They are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the Spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the Spirit. It's not some magic. These are operations. These are superior dimensions of the operation of the Spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy. 
the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th. Get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus. I hold you and I declare. I stop CS now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. Yes. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. 
Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm seeing fire. It's like it's looking for someone in this room. This is something that has to do with someone's family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just this room. Because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is. And that will end it right now. End it right now. Family. God is touching the families. In the name of Jesus. It is not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. It's not by power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three years. Did she have a child before? No, but my brother has. Did she take in before? No. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai, please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes, uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here, but truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some. I don't know whether it's at home. Please, who is that? Don't be embarrassed. The Lord wants to set you free. If you sit down, that's your, that's, that's for you. Whether you are inside, outside, make your way. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. I want to pray for you now. My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He has two children. How many two children? Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, Two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. 
Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes a... Uh, huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing, the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves, you see. Those leaves. There is a lady. Come and join him. I'm seeing a lady. Don't be embarrassed. Please. Jesus is setting you free. There is a lady. You can't help yourself. This is not the issue of being good or bad. Please run boldly and come. If you waste our time, you just sit where you are. One lady. There is a lady. This thing has destroyed. It's not like you like it, but you can't help it. It comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come. My dear, let's pray. We have to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take him now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus. You're standing for yourself? Your sister. If I ask for people who have who want children, except you are standing for somebody, if you are standing for yourself, make sure you, are, you have a husband or a wife. Praise God. We, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There's no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the mercies of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady. Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is, you understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on, don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you and in the name of jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? Sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Where? Eh? 
come, you're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady you can see very lovely beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy so every time words come like this or when we pray for people this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace are we together darling I, I know that you may not like some of them it may not even be bad friends they just got into all of these things and let me tell you maturity does not deliver people from spirits you can be growing older and still remain you believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you'll try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges, their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God. Is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow up this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him, but there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say, I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details. and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you, I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that your song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Gamuna, Gashina, Gashina. Circuit of Jana, Jana, Kashina, Kahuna, Jana, Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. And let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Jabratos Kalabrendegeva Sarabakuriata Katash. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kapratos Katafridish Kalabraniakata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for we agree for wonders. Mante Kalas Kotambriatosiatakatalokarusia. Bredo go shobra dis kalabrata katafaradash. Le kataprando susibriata. E kata. Jabrata shebrega de bosh. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus. Lord release miracles to families. Release signs. Wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Makotopa shabradaka sode barato sesiana kosh agrada gabarato gojo brendi gede balato siada kata shabraka barako to sobri gedia rabada gada balada koso sobri ada balada bosh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we decree and declare. Agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Lord, this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people. Scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word. Let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now we're getting to the last phase. We're going to pray on this. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about this oil you're seeing. It's, it's truly an oil of wonder. I spent uh, the night praying. No oil in itself is anointed. Please be careful. Don't hurt her. Don't. Ah, uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her or you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk too well eh? while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason out there there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit 
last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we're doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise god father we give you all the praise i lift up this jar of oil and in the name of jesus christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this i pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of jesus christ and let this cause the holy spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the bible says the spirit of the lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because i was anointed in the name of jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the spirit in the name of jesus we dedicate this i command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of jesus christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the holy spirit god's ability god's ability is working in me hallelujah we have to say father in the name of jesus i thank you i'm anointing you so that you will stand and as i lay my hands i pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first i want you to believe it this is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life supernatural grace supernatural grace supernatural grace anointing of the holy ghost in fresh dimensions in the name of jesus that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing in the name of jesus christ okay so you can give it to them father we decree and declare this is an oil of supernatural breakthrough i can always add please quickly station yourselves we are going to be praying all through as soon as as soon as the oil touches you please i want you to begin to pray worship team you give us uh, okay just play the instruments we'll just begin to pray in the spirit everyone praying in the spirit as the oil comes upon you begin to declare speak forth release your faith lord we decree and declare right now let miracles begin let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you can stand here okay thank you jesus go ahead as soon as you touch the oil begin to prophesy in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the word of the lord becomes my testimony the oil is anointed Monday, brother, scalabre, the chevre, the secato, brother, catapalada. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed. Young, old. Sambra di casso di briada balada bosch. Madi brasa si se anacosada cross calabar. Please keep standing, everybody. It's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly. Our time is up. It's just two minutes to six. Please keep standing. No moving around inside, outside. There are people here. You have seen the power of God. You have seen the grace of God. And you're saying, Apostle, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to hand my life over to God like the dear lady who came out um, and many other people. I know that it is morning, but it should not rob you. The greatest miracle, literally and truthfully, is an encounter with the lord jesus christ wherever you are you are inside you are outside any of the overflows online you are following and you are saying man of god i want you to pray with me 
and at the same time there are people you have given your heart to the Lord but things happen around your life your life went haywire and you need your saying I, I cannot go back the way I came I want to have this restoration this encounter I'm rededicating my life to Jesus wherever you are please we have just two minutes for you inside outside please clear the way for them make sure you don't discourage them let's appreciate them as they come wherever you are God bless you make your way to the front are you appreciating them they are coming please run run quickly inside outside if you're coming I want you to run God bless you God bless you clap hands for them they are coming God bless you koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming don't let anyone stop you if you are joining them please come quickly clear the way for them overflow one two three and then the fourth one those online connect with us I'm about to lead them a very special prayer very special prayer thank you so much ladies and gentlemen I want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart say after me Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight come join them quickly tonight you're coming from outside quickly 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 join them join them let's be very fast let's be very fast quickly say after me all of you standing here say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God I ask you to cleanse me forgive my sins I believe you, you were raised from the dead and now you are alive I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now. I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for. And we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives. I, I declare that your sins are forgiven. I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life in the name of Jesus. You go from glory to glory in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, I want you, there's a gentleman waving his hands. I want you to follow him quickly. They welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details to you. God bless you. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.